All right, well, most of our athletes of the week have two legs and wear a jersey. This edition features four legs and fur, as sports director Jordan Rodenberger showcases our athletes of the week. It's a, it's a family affair for these guys. As Dallas CV stands alone atop the Iditarod podium as the race's only six-time champion, he's joined by his two now superstar athletes. I don't do anything. I mean, yeah, I'm the one up here talking, but I don't win Iditarods without a dog team. <laughs> Although beginning this year's run, he was unsure which members of his team would step up. This year, I feel like the team is much more even. There's not as many super, super, super dogs, I don't think. Or at least I don't know who they are. They're still developing. Or you know, a lot of those superstars, you don't recognize them as superstars until you're in a tough spot on a race. Leaving Ruby with several hours of ground to gain on the leaders, it was time for his stars to shine. <laughs> Arrow and Sebastian took the lead, as did CV, leaving Unilically. Never giving up the lead, pulling in first under the burled arch in Nome. Arrow is a three-year-old from his father Mitch's kennel. And he was just kind of a happy goofball all year. And as things got harder and harder, I kept expecting him to act like a puppy and start to, you know, really feel the challenges. And every single time he rose to the occasion. Who Dallas describes as wiggly. You cannot get a hold of him. Um, in White Mountain, he just about broke my nose because I was trying to do something. He's just wiggling and he's like, I'll just kiss you with my, you know, what is it, cranial ridge or whatever on the nose. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, so it's like, all right, that's just Arrow. <laughs> As for the other superstar. So Sebastian's always been kind of a little bit shy, geeky brother of Flounder, who's the superstar quarterback, right? That's basically been Sebastian's role. Sebastian, or Siebes they call him, is part of the Little Mermaid litter along with Flounder and Ariel. He loves butt scratches. If you come up to him at the kennel, all he wants is his butt scratch. <laughs> he loves it. CV has seen his share of dogs, but none quite like Sebastian. He has the most beautiful gait I have ever seen. The dog just floats down the trail. There's no energy expenditure unnecessarily. And uh, about halfway through the year, it's like, all right, you are way too good of a dog not to be a lead dog. <laughs> and lead they did straight to the champion's podium, where they shared the same love CV gave them along the trail. <laughs> You're okay. just hamming it up over here. <laughs> Jordan Rodenberger, Alaska's News Source.